going to put that the theme hard work and determination. Absolutely. When I write, you write. Okay. <coughs> Helps you accomplish your goals. Yes, sir. Can I go to the Absolutely. That's the end of my thought, end of my sentence, so I definitely need to put a period at the end of that. You spelled determination. Excuse me? You spelled determination. I spelled it wrong? No, I didn't spell it right. If you spelled it right, mm -hmm. Take a couple seconds to finish that up. Huh? Right before the L in your confidence, you well, L. Is that an I? Right after the L, you mean? Yeah. Right after the L is an I. Okay. Miss, can I turn off one of One of those lights. Yep. Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be listening to an audio file, just like we did last week for Cougars to help us get ready for the FSA. Instead of listening about Cougars again, we're going to be listening about the text that we've already read this week, Lunch Money. Okay. And we're only going to, going to listen to a, um, a small portion of it. So today we will closely examine how the author of Lunch Money supported the theme within this portion of the text. All right. Um, so I'm really going to think about that theme as almost my essential question. How does the author support the theme that through hard work and determination you can accomplish your goals? Okay. So, let's go ahead and get started on listening to some small portions of the text. Now, since we have another T-chart like we did last week, in this section that says evidence, we're going to be writing some really short bullet points again, that note-taking that we're practicing for FSA, to help us support our theme of hard work and determination helping to accomplish our goals. Right? So let's get started here. From the start, he had felt pretty sure he could come up with a story idea. 
and he knew he would be able to do the drawings. But first, he had to deal with a lot of hows. How does a whole comic book get put together? How big should each be? How is he going to print them? How much would it cost him to make each one? And finally, how much money should he charge for his finished comic books, assuming he could actually make some? But one by one, Greg had found the answers. An encyclopedia article about printing books had helped a lot. It showed how pages of a book start as one large sheet of paper that gets folded in half several times. Each time the sheet is folded, the number of pages is doubled. So Greg took a piece of regular letter-sized paper and folded it in half three times the way it showed in the encyclopedia. That one piece of paper turned into a chunky little six... All right, so... say that Greg had to answer a lot of hows, and we talked about that yesterday and the day before for that, that specific question in our text-dependent questions. Um, he had many questions about creating a comic book and had to do some research in an encyclopedia to find the answers. That definitely shows hard work and determination. What was it that just showed the hard work and determination? Turn and talk to your partner. Encyclopedia, I'm, I'm giving it to you now, it's just popped into my brain. Encyclopedia 
starts with what? E. And, oh, okay. So encyclopedia, I just heard Macy say that it starts with E, which is a vowel. So why do I have, what, what's going on here? I have to use the word, I just knew that I had to use the word and. What, what am I doing here, Jacqueline? Okay, so um, you can put A in the, sec, in the word after that starts with any other letter besides the vowel, but then if it starts with a vowel, then you have, you have to put A. Absolutely. If, that, if the word that follows it starts with a vowel, it has to be in. So let's, let's backpedal and think about our exotic pets. Could I write an article about a exotic pet? No. Why not? Because it's exotic pet. Exotic starts with an E. Exotic starts, exotic starts with E. And it has, so it has to be and. Okay, great. Just, just check it. Check it in. E N C Y C L O P E D I A. That is a long one. And then it's Read an encyclopedia. Article. Uh, I'm doing my best. Sorry. About printing books. I'm targeting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes. I think we should put both of them on the encyclopedia since it's an article. Mm. Well, that's not the name of the No. Nope. Just, yep, yeah, I just love what Macy just said. She said it's not the name of an article. I like your thinking and thinking about that we need to um, list our books or articles a certain way. Yes, sir. Is that where are we on? The I'm sorry. Read on. Read an encyclopedia article about printing books. Repeat. An 
each of the ten steps had to be done perfectly, or no one would ever want to spend money on his little comics. Okay, so that was about two minutes of listening to that audio file. <coughs> I just heard a ton of information about that ten step process. So now that I've modeled a couple of bullet points, one that says, work the whole summer, one that says read an encyclopedia article about printing books, and both of these pieces of evidence support my theme, hard work and determination helps accomplish your goals. Okay, so remember that's the point of this, we were trying to support that theme. Now we're going to do it together. Since I just did all the work here, now we're going to do it together. How does the description of the 10 step process support this theme? Go ahead and talk to your shoulder partner.
a lot of really great talking about this. We are going to pull some sticks to make it fair and equal for everyone to be able to, you know, get the same choice, uh, chance to listen. Um, this was kind of a tough one. That was a long time to listen, right? And I think some of us are pretty much there, and some of us are still needing a little bit more support. So, back to you. Yeah, Natalie's out here. Lewis, what do you think? Um, yes, sir, please and thank you. Um, I think me, what me and my partner are talking about is... Um, oh, I'm sorry, Lewis. It walks us through steps how to make these comic books, like how to trim it and draw and write the sentences that go inside of it and increase the size of it. Okay, yeah. It definitely told us um, step by step exactly what needed to be done, and you gave me specific steps that had to be done. <laughs> Um, but I need to go back to my original question. How does those, how does that description of the 10 step process help us to deter, help us to fulfill that goal, right? Our theme through hard work and determination, you can accomplish your goals. What do you think? You help out? Yep. You're right, that's part of it. That's part of it. Okay. What me and my partners talked about is how um, that um, he had to do those ten steps ever so carefully, and that they were very descriptive, and that if he didn't do them perfectly, then then he, no one would want to buy them, and he would have been successful. So he he had to work very hard to be able to do them perfectly and make his comic books to sell. Okay, I hope that us over here that we were listening because that is exactly the same answer that I have written on my piece of paper. Over here, who can help me out and repeat what was just said here? Isaiah. She said, um... Can you stand up so we can help you? She said that he has to make his comics right, so, like, so he has to make them perfect, because if, if he, like, makes a mistake on his comics, no one would ever find him. Okay, I love what you're saying. Let's, let's stop for one second. What I heard you say was, that he needed to make his comics perfect because no one would buy them. What could we do to fix that sentence? Thank you. Say because it's a oh, Okay, so can Isaiah, if, now that we're hearing that we need to say because, can you say what you said again? Because you are right. So can, can, can you tell me again what you just said? I said that um, if he, he has to make his comics right because if if he makes the mistake on if he makes a mistake on one little comic, no one would ever like buy anymore. Yeah, they need to be perfect. All right, Kivas, coming back to you, my friend. What did we just hear Macy and Isaiah say? Take off loud and proud so we can all hear you. That he has to make them right. If he messes one thing up, that nobody ain't gonna wanna buy him. Okay, so I'm hearing you say make them right. What's Wait. them? Comic books. So can you say it again one more time, please? If he messes the comic books up, then nobody ain't gonna buy them. So if he mess messes up the comic books, is that what I hear? Mm -hmm. If he messes up the comic books, that no one would want to buy them. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Um, what I said was that 
um, that nobody would buy his books, his humble books, and he didn't make them perfectly like it said in the um, audio. It said like he had to do all types of stuff perfectly. I love that you stress the importance of that word, doing those 10 steps perfectly, otherwise no one would buy them. That's the point, right? Remember at the very beginning of the story, he was pumped about selling however many units. He said it was a new record for a Monday or something like that. He's trying to make some cash. Yeah, he's trying to make some cash. So let's go ahead with our next bullet point. Remember, we're supporting our theme of how hard work and determination helps accomplish our goals. And here's what I'm going to write. Each, when I write, you write, each of the 10 steps had to be done perfectly. or people wouldn't buy them. Oh, we can hear something. Yes. You, uh, after you said the comic books, after you said that each steps wouldn't, um, at steps would be done perfectly, then um, the guy would buy them. Basically, we're talking about the comic books again at the end of the music. Oh, my goodness. Girl after my own heart. So, we were talking about the comic books, and because I already said what we were talking about, right? Remember Miss Alvarez yesterday when she was doing the writing lesson? Said, okay, let's talk about these pronouns again, but remember, we have to state what the noun actually is first. The noun is the comic books. At the end of my sentence, I referred to the comic books as them. What is the pronoun? Them. 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 them, absolutely. Them refers back to the noun, the comic books. Loving, I did verbally, I didn't write it, but verbally I did mention the comic books, yes. Loving it, Karina, outstanding job. Okay, let's keep listening to this, um, this file. <laughs> Well, I'll give you, are, are we still writing? <laughs> no, we're good. Patrick, I'm sorry. Focus. Yes, dear. Um, with the, uh, kind of like <coughs> Karina was saying, um, like, if we want to let, right. I'm uh, sorry, Zachary, can you take off? I'm having kind of a hard time hearing you. Thank you. You want to write the word comic books here? Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, folks, we still have a lot more listening to do. Let's turn our ears on. I'm going to wait till everyone has their writing done. Please put your pencil down when you're ready. humans 
living in a world of melting ice caps and mutant life forms that were part human, part toxic sludge, and part recycled trucks and airplanes. Again, there will be seven or eight issues featuring Eon. Analyze the text. Visual elements. What do you notice about this story's illustrations? What do they help you understand about the story and the main character? Then, Chunky Comics Volume 3 would feature Leon, a fairly normal modern-age techno dude who suddenly finds himself energized when his digital atomic watch overheats and burns its circuits into the nerves on his wrist. Leon learns that the watch can be set for the future or the past. The six or seven time travel adventures of Volume 3 would follow Leon to the past, where he would team up with Creon, and then to the future, where he would offer his services to the amazing Eon. And eventually, all three characters would have some final episodes together. Creon, Leon, and Eon. Past, present, and future. Okay, wow, that was a lot of information about his characters, right? Okay, hang on, hang on one second. Let me ask the question before you answer it. How does the description of Greg's master publishing plan support the theme of using hard work and determination to accomplish your goals. Let me say it one more time because that's a lot. How does the description of Greg's master publishing plan, which I love, support Patrick <coughs> and Isaiah, support the theme of hard work and determination helps accomplish your goals? Go ahead and turn the talk to your partner. of Greg's master publishing plan, so they just described his plan to publish all of this, how does that support the theme of hard work and determination helps to accomplish your goals? Okay. <laughs> Work I 